Uh, hello everyone. So I thought I would come on and and let you know a little bit more about my new baby. I haven't made a video since his box opening and I thought you know what here's a good time let's come on here. Um, I also haven't made any videos because I hurt my back. As you guys know in the box opening video I had mentioned that and it is getting better but I decided to go to the chiropractor today and he said I did spring my back so I have been icing it and doing everything that I can do at home and I really wanted his opinion and he said yeah looks like that's what's going on so he proceeded to go ahead and give my back a good alignment and pop it and oh boy it was like heaven <laughs> I, you know, it only lasts for like 15 minutes, but it was like, oh man, I could I could stay here for like an hour. So I didn't have that stiffness when I left his office, which was really good. So by Monday, I should be as good as gold and I should be just fine in time for the show, which I'm very thankful for because I don't care. I would still go with hurt back and all. So <laughs> nothing's going to keep me from going. I, you know, I'm too too invested and too committed into it now to back out. So um, here he is and I, I did do a name announcement on my Instagram for you guys that follow and just a little side note for you guys on my Instagram it is not open to everyone just to let you know you have to be approved for me to allow you to see my photos that's just the way I want to do it right now. So if I don't recognize your name from your channel uh, please don't be offended if I don't accept you. Um, what would be really good is if you have a Instagram account and you've been trying to have me uh, f allow you to follow me and I haven't hit you to accept you. It's because I don't know who you are and I don't know your channel. It doesn't look familiar to me. So shoot me over a message on YouTube and say, hey, you know, I'm so and so. My IG account is such and such you know, and I'll go ahead and accept you. So, um, yeah, that's what it is. So here he is in all his beautifulness and I decided to name him Oliver James. And I have always loved that name Oliver. A lot of you guys who watch Daily Bumps um, know that that is their son name, Oliver. And not only did I love it from that show, but it's always been on my top 10 for little boys names. And he just seemed to, I don't know, suit that name very well. And James is my father's middle name. And I thought that was a nice tribute and it would fit his first name. So here he is. And so I'm just going to go over a little bit of details with you guys. I think the lighting is somewhat adequate and let's just jump right into it so he is 20 inches long he is the Evan sculpt by Phil Donnelly she is an amazing sculptress and she makes reborn and silicones he has full legs and three-fourth arms I know in my video I had said he had full arms and three-fourth legs and I don't know even know why I messed up and said that but yeah he has three fourth arms and full legs like I said and his vinyl is really squishy really soft uh, the way she painted him he has a very soft feeling to him so his skin is not textured um, I've had babies that have had textured skin and he does not have textured skin he doesn't have that rough um, feeling to him. He feels very smooth, very soft. And he he's really done gorgeously. Um, everything that I like, you know, the blushing is right on point. Um, his The bottoms of his little feet, you know, I love how they're red and then they go into like a little bit of pigment of blue and then red down here by the heel. That is like my big thing. I don't like it when the foot is just all red or you know it's hardly shaded I like I like having um, a lot of blushing on my babies in certain areas of them so she did a wonderful job and he has kind of curled up toes on both feet as you can see he has good size feet and they kind of bent in a little bit which is super cute and he has loads of wrinkles 
really big chunky thighs. Um, here's this other foot here. Again, really beautiful, a lot of wrinkles. Um, same, the, le the leg is, the not the leg, but the ankle is kind of bent in a little bit, which is really darling. And he has really long legs, really um, big chunky legs. Like in the camera, he looks like he's zero to three, but he is a large newborn for sure. Um, he is not petite in any sense of the word. He is a very big boy. Um, which I love. So he's still newborn, but he's a chunky newborn. Um, he has closed fists on both hands. Um, this hand here, let me see if you guys can see. Let me zoom up. Okay, so this hand here, the thumb is tucked underneath the fingers, which is really cute. And it looks uh, really nice, realistic. I like how the fingers are really long and he's got a chunky hand and chunkiness around the wrists there very very cute and this hand the finger is on the outside the thumb the thumb is on the outside and again another little fist very cute very nice shading in between the fingers really really darling really really sweet very very cute sculpt um, I think Phil Donnelly does a very wonderful job at sculpting. I, I really do love her work. It's one of my first babies from her. And my first babies from this nursery. And if you guys would like to take a look at more of her artwork, she is on Facebook at Grandma's Cookies Little Angels. And I put that link in his box opening and I also put her um, what is it called like her little name that she goes by on on eBay like her member name I put that in the description bar and he has cute little full lips he has really pretty full lips little button nose and his eyelashes are kind of like a brown a light brown color which is really pretty and then he has micro-rooted hair. Um, and like I said, he has two shades of micro-rooted hair. A uh, darker blonde and then like a kind of a platinum blonde here around the hairline. Very, very pretty. And then for his ears, as you guys can see, he has the most sweetest little ears. They're not just, you know, on some kits, they're just round like he actually has like little folds around the ear really really nice and detailed and it's really deep inside of the ear canal which is really nice and she did a very good job at shading that and he has cute little ear lobes <laughs> and I love his double chin he does have a little bit of a double chin going on very nice um, side profile of the, of him and you can see his little pouty full lips there very very pretty so that is probably one of my favorite things on the sculpt is his ears very very sweet i have seen this kit um as a girl but to me i think it just screams little boy because you know there are some kits that are very versatile out there and can be a little boy or a little girl like the Noah sculpt you know obviously that's like one of my one of my favorite sculpts and that baby can go either way and then this is the other side and you can see again the ear has these pretty little folds in them very 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 detailed and he has beautiful veining in his forehead and temple area it has really nice blue undertones and just really really nice shading and modeling he's not overly modeled he's just just right really and he has a shaded nose his nose is not open it's shaded and i'm trying to think of any other little details um i think that's about it like i said he is a large newborn large newborn he is not a small newborn 
um, which, like I said, is really fun. I like that. I like that about him. And so let's see, he's wearing a koala's newborn right now, and actually this is snug on him. And he has a onesie underneath, so yeah, I'm definitely going to be changing him into another outfit in the next video. I'll do that. I know he's using a pink brush, but I packed his brush already, so he's just going to have to be okay with using a girl brush. <laughs> And he came with this pacifier here. This is one of my first pacifiers from this company. It's called, I think it's called Honey Bug. And I looked it up on eBay, and they're about $8 for one passy, which I found. I, I'm sure maybe they have some out there that are cheaper. But they're really cool. And they fit his face, like, incredible. Like, it is just flush to his face. Let me show you guys. See that? Isn't that awesome? That's amazing. I love that. So this is the pacifier I'm going to bring with him to the doll show. Um, because I actually have to modify some for him. The ones that I have, they do go the same way as the pacifier that he's wearing. But they don't actually fit quite well on his face. I have to adjust where the magnet's at. So I'm going to redo all my pacifiers for him. And I'm going to go with uh, Kimberly's method of using the little felt pocket and that way I won't have to ever have to glue them you know and this room you know where I keep my pacifiers they're not I'm going to be in danger of any small children so I'm fine and I really like these right here so I think I'm going to get maybe two more for him because they really fit his face very well and I'm hoping they have these at the doll show and I can just pick them up there and maybe get some for Willow so that's what I'm hoping. Uh, the baby's clothes are all packed for the doll show. So I just have to worry about myself. And I'll probably do that on Sunday. I'm just not in the mood to do it today or tomorrow. And oh my gosh, I cannot believe it's almost here. Like, I'm going to have to pinch myself. <laughs> when I wake up on Tuesday, just knowing that in 24 hours I'm going to be on a plane and wow it's it's gonna be surreal so um like i said i'm gonna do my best to film for all of you that cannot attend and i do know how you feel for the last two years i've wanted to go to a doll show and have not been able to so this year um it's a real treat for me to be able to go this year and i'm just really excited and i know that um crystal is going to be doing a lot of videos a lot of us are that are going to YouTube are going to be filming. So you guys are going to have a lot to enjoy when we get back and all the videos that you guys get to watch. So that's going to be fun. But I'm going to come back on and make another video for you. And just, uh, sorry, I'm just adjusting my camera here. And change him change him into another onesie. I really love him wearing onesies because it just I'm just appreciating the artwork and the sculpting of this baby, the way he was sculpted. I really love and enjoy. So I just kind of want to just look at him and kind of look at his little feet and his legs and um with the onesies you can really do that and appreciate and plus the weather. You know, it's it's warm here. So I think it's uh it is good just to leave him in little onesies for right now. And then he'll get all nice and dressed up for the show when he goes. I just love his little lips. They're so cute. All right, aunties. So this is Oliver. And uh, thank you all for your wonderful comments and your support. I know there's been a lot going on in the community lately. And believe me, um yeah it's uh it's been interesting let's just say that and i'm still fighting the good fight over here and um doing my best to to be calm <laughs> to be calm on this side and uh i just want to say thank you all for your support and and your pms and your messages and things they've been great and uh, like i said thank you for 
also the well wishes and congratulations for Oliver on his box opening. I appreciate that, guys. And as if you didn't know, um, Finn has a new mommy. Finn has been adopted by Nicole Bowling. If you guys go over to her channel, you can see Finn. She renamed him. So I won't give all that away. You guys go over to her channel and check him out. Watch the box opening. See what she named him. And he is happy with his new mommy. And I'm happy for her. And So yeah. All right, everyone, have a great Friday and stay tuned for the next video. Toodles.